Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Thanks for coming to the channel today. I'm so glad you showed up because today we are going to talk about QuickBooks point of sale and deleting an item off of your item list. And there's a few things that you need to know before you just go around haphazardly deleting your items. Very important. All right, before we do this, let's go down and click on the link down in the description below so you can get over to the QuickBooks point of sale Facebook group where you can learn a lot ask a lot and enjoy our community where people are working together to use point of sale to the best of their ability otherwise if you're on youtube don't forget to hit subscribe below to get all our latest greatest videos when they're coming out all the time all right let's do this so deleting an item all right let's say your manufacturer or vendor has decided they're gonna no longer make the item and so you don't really care about it and you're trying to free up some space in the database that is all fine and well and uh, some people in the past have been like well I don't think I can delete things because you know they're on they're on my documents and they're in on receipts in the past and that's kind of how QuickBooks works but here in point of sale it's a little bit different and so we are going to delete the nurses scrubs we're no longer carrying nurses scrubs here at BlackRock business so we are going to delete them and there's just a few caveats before we do that to know about. I'm going to point out that the delete button here is over on the left. Uh, by default, maybe you've removed it, I don't know. But you can use the delete button while you have something highlighted. You can also go on the I want to menu and hit delete here. And real quick on this list, if you hold down shift, you can select a range like this or if you're gonna hunt and peck and find several things to delete you can hold down the control key and one by one click on them while you're holding control and now I could delete all four of those if I'd like but I'm just gonna delete nurses scrubs because that's the only thing that I've decided no longer to carry because they just sit on the shelf forever and nobody ever buys them or something like that or maybe my manufacturer stopped making them uh, so real quick the things you cannot easily delete just right off the bat I'm gonna tell you what you can't delete you cannot delete an item that is part of an assembly you cannot delete an item that is a part of a group and if you don't know what assemblies are or groups are then you probably don't have them but if you want to know more about that we have videos on each and how you can make a group item and how you can make an assembly item but if the nurses scrubs is part of an assembly or part of a group item then we will not be able to delete it also if the nurses scrubs is part of a discount so an automatic discount that is calculated like buy three nurses scrubs and get 10 percent off or something like that if it's part of an active discount we cannot delete it we need to go and undo the discount we need to undo the assembly item we need to undo the group item before we can delete the nurses scrubs so those are the things we cannot delete another thing to keep in mind when you are deleting items they will still show up on your documents so you can still do reporting on them if you type them in manually or if you look at reports that have to do with these documents but deleting nurses scrubs is not going to delete it off of this receipt uh, that would that'd be really strange if suddenly items were disappearing off your receipts and your receiving vouchers and stuff so it's it's not gonna like disappear from the face of the planet or your point of sale uh, it will still be included in these documents and be a part of them but it just won't be here on your item list and you won't be able to receive it or do anything in the future with it so let's go ahead and do it nurses scrubs we are going to delete hitting delete now and it's gonna tell me hey this item has quantity on hand so I do have some in stock and it wants to just let you know that in case you're like trying to delete something that you think isn't around and it actually is there's some in the back room or something like that uh, this item that shows selected items for deletion it's gonna list out any warnings or errors or problems uh, some of those caveats I listed earlier will come up on this screen if it's a part of those but otherwise I'm like yeah well I'm just gonna delete it I'm gonna donate those to charity or something like that so I deleted it it's gone I can no longer see it I can no longer 
look it up here. I type in nurses, nothing comes up. And there you have it. You've deleted an item, you've gotten rid of it out of the point of sale, except on past documents. So my name's Peter with BlackRock Business, and I'm glad you're here to learn this with me. You have yourself a great day. Leave a comment below if you like. Hey, Bring that fly home.